They call it the Basketball Palace of Mid-America, Bud Walton Arena, Fayetteville, Arkansas. A big game today is Ole Miss trying to secure a spot in the NCAA Tournament. Arkansas trying to snap a six-game losing streak. Uh, really asking for the ball back, wanting to go at Desi Phil. Blake Henson, this time he's true from three, and Ole Miss jumps Coach out Anderson to five looking for a 40-minute performance out of his hogs today. There's Daniel Gafford, a little extra pass, and that is what he does well. Shot clock at five. Bruce Stevens recognizes it, lets the three fall, and he's dead center. Boy, the Ole Miss big man stepping out, knocking out threes. It was Henson earlier. Now the 30% shooter, Stevens, hitting that long jumper. Isaiah Joe finds Osaboyan. Osaboyan, tough shot, high off the glass. He won't hit the house, did not get the house today. Inside to Gafford, he's doubled and gets it up off the window and scores. That's what they do. Nice job. Just by checked in. Here's Gafford, tries a 17 footer. You don't see that a ton from him. Nice touch from the big man. Gafford on Tuesday night points. in Lexington. Buffett misses down low, thought he was fouled. Kermit Davis thought so as well. Here's Mason Jones for three, and Arkansas has its first lead. When the Hogs can force the turnover. The Hogs trying to snap this six-game losing streak. Arkansas turns it over. Here's Devontae Shuler, tries to finger roll it, and puts Ole Miss back in one and one. one. The Rebels situation. I love this situation, too. Terrence Davis with the two-handed jam. Ole Miss Great the call. steal off the Mason Jones looking for his second from deep. Not this time. But the ball gets tipped back to Adriel Bailey for the follow. Three minutes in this game. But uh, at this point it is. <laughs> Terrence Davis going to fire up a three. He got the three. That's seven points for Terrence Davis. Rebels keep that in mind. A lot of times in these situations, uh, teams lose track of that shot clock. Arkansas gets a steal. Reggie Cady with the jam. Worse than losing track of the shot clock, they lost track of the basketball. Arkansas with a quick two. Blake Henson, Ooh. tough crossover on Gaffer. Blows my point. Isaiah Joe, he shoots it well from right there. 99th three-pointer of the season for Isaiah Joe. He is three short of the all-time record here at Arkansas in a single season. Well, he was on pace from the very beginning of the season to track down Scotty Thurman's Arkansas record for threes. Looks like Isaiah Joe may get there. Shot clock at five. The feed inside. Joe got lost and lays it in. Another feed inside to Olenicek. Quick hands gets it up on the glass. Olenicek having another good game against Arkansas. He and Bruce Stevens combined for 27 in that game earlier this year. And Gafford that time goes right around to Dominic Olenicek. An easy Big bucket man. for Gafford. Nine points for Gafford, which matches what he had in the first meeting. Here's a lob and a jam of alley-oop to Olenicek. <laughs> Oh, and each is going crazy here. Rebels feeding him down around the rim. There's a three rattled home by Desi Sills. He shoots only 30 percent. Daughter playing in the high school basketball playoffs, and he's watching her. There's Brian Tyree with his first points of the game. Big three for Tyree. A bit of a scoring drought for the Rebels. Finally snapped with that Tyree jumper. Rebels up by six to see uh, who can get control of this final minute. That is a high percentage look for Daniel Gafford and snaps a three-minute field goal. Mason Jones finds Reggie Cheney. Bigger lineup in for Arkansas. Mason Jones for three. Ole Miss leads by one. Jalen Harris on the drive. Gives Arkansas the lead for the first time since the first time. Tuscaloosa, LSU March. leading by four over Alabama with about 17 seconds left. Oh, oh. Drive and a score by Desi Sills. The corner there he is. Too strong, but an offensive rebound for Olenicek. Schuler puts it back up. Missed again. Gets his own miss. This time off the window. And Ole Miss Brandon. is back in front. Wreak havoc. They put a lot of pressure on you out of that 1-3-1. One, one. Isaiah Joe counts the basket 
and a foul, a chance for a, a few full years ago. play. Well, Coach, I got to ask you, probably the most asked question that you hear, uh, how can this team, how can the Razorbacks get back to that level where they're competing for SEC titles, national titles, once again? What's, what, what's it going to take? I think the key to any program who wants to, to, to get to that area, the name of the game is recruiting. Yeah, bar none. They, they can talk about all the great coaches they want to. Just give me some good players, and I'll play all your great coaches every day of the week. So I think what has happened with, in Mike's program is that he's had some players. They left early. They, there's a few of them that uh, quit the team because maybe they weren't playing as much, but it puts him back in a hole. And when you're in the hole, you're always digging out of the hole. You got, like now they're talking about losing the big fella. Yeah. You know, Jazz says he's maybe getting something rolling. You're losing him. I didn't have to face that music. You know, I, of course, I lost Corliss and, and Scotty. I really believe that we would have had him back if we'd have won the national championship that year. Big block by Daniel Gafford brings this crowd to its feet. AJ Buffin knocked to the floor. Oh, continuing to play well Nolan here. Richardson, former Arkansas coach, champion in 1994, a Hall of Famer. This building, 1994, was when it opened the doors, and obviously Barnhill was an incredible place. There was something special about this place. When you guys would create a couple of turnovers, get it going, uh, kind of an extra man with 19,000 people oh, in here. Oh, man, this, this place was rock and roll every night. I, I, you know, I knew that when players that walked into this building they knew that that this was going to be one of the loudest places they're going to play in the southeastern conference coach your practices were legendary people talked about in the ncaa tournament everybody has to do some practice up to, uh, to a degree i don't think we've seen since the 80s what do you think about uh, playing the sec right now Schuler on the drive kicks it out straight on three for davis big shot Still from the corner, no. There's an offensive rebound for Reggie Chaney. Mason Jones wide alone. Wide up all by himself, I should say. Confidence coming down the stretch. A critical game for Ole Miss and their Tony Hope. Stills with the steal. Jones gives it away, gets it back. Can he dial up another? The second that ball was knocked away, Mason Jones knew right where he was going, Barry Booker. And the second he got it back, you know it's going in with the confidence so high after he made the last one. Tyree with the answer. This time he's off the front iron, tipped around, and now the Rebels want to run. Bring Tyree ahead of the pack, lays it in. Ole Miss back in front. Don't blink. Yeah. Here come the Hogs. <laughs> Isaiah Joe finds Jones down low. Back into the lead. Jalen Harris drops it off to Daniel Gafford. That's his third dunk of the game in 20 lead changes. Tyree on the drive off the glass. The Hog saw Tyree walking the ball up. Brian recognized, hey, they're not ready. Pushed it in there. Easy basket. Ole Miss surging now. 16 points for Bree and Tyree. Now a tough bucket for Jalen Harris. How about a little athletic ability going today? Well. And Tyree looking to make a play. Tyree stops, pops oh. off the glass, got the roll. So well, Arkansas good. give it to their big gun. There he is. The lob and the oh. toe for Daniel. No they're going to have the lead no matter what. Bree and Tyree, ball in hand. Ball loose on the floor. Arkansas comes up with the turnover. Still loose on the floor. It's Arkansas. tied up, and the possession arrow is for the Razorbacks. Ten to play. Jalen Harris gets inside, lays it up. High off the glass. He makes it with 5.9 to play. And now Kermit Davis and Ole Miss will take a timeout. Down one. Harris, the playmaker, the point guard for the Razorbacks. Turning in the corner, getting in the paint. Ole Miss, they don't want to leave Daniel Gafford. Ole Nechek doesn't want to rush over there and leave Gafford alone for the dunk. So Harris able to scoop that one up, and he goes glass. That's always going to help your shooting percentage. Being on the glass, great play by Harris to give it up.
5.9 to play. Olenicek. Uh, that's not who you want to hold it. Ole Miss turns it over. Osaboyan dribbles it out. Arkansas wins. Unbelievable. Olenicek just held it, couldn't get it to a guard, and Arkansas wins.